Hey, this is Chelsea from digitalartteacher.com. This video is an introduction to Adobe InDesign CC 2021. This video series goes with a full unit available at digitalartteacher.com. So if you're teaching graphic design, check the info bar at the top for more teaching resources. In this video, I'll be covering how to open the program and how to create a new page. I'm using a Mac, so I'm going to press Command Space and type InDesign. When you open the program, it will take you to this start screen. On the left, you will have options to create new or open an existing document. Any of your recent creations may appear on the right. If you have something open already, you can see all of these options in the file menu. Click Create New. You can create a number of different types of documents from this window. Each of the menus, Print, Web, and Mobile, contain both templates and presets for you to choose from. You can look through all the preset templates if you like, but for this project, we're going to use the letter preset. On the right side of this dialog box, there are a number of different settings that you can choose. Let's change a few things before we get started. Give your project a suitable name. When you save it later, this will be the file name. Click in the box under Units and change the setting to Inches. Under Pages, type 12. This will be the number of pages in your document. Some other options that you may use more often are the Width and Height, which allows you to change the page size, the Orientation, which gives you Portrait and Landscape, and Facing Pages, which allows you to arrange pages and spreads. This is perfect for a book or magazine because you want to see what the whole spread is going to look like to your reader. For this project, we're going to leave them all the way they are set. Now click Create. Once the document is opened, these settings can still be changed under the Properties panel to the right of the document. To save, you can click File Save or use the command or control S. Notice that the name you chose earlier is here in the Save As box. Find a place to save your file. If you can't see your files, you can click the down arrow to expand the box. And now it's your turn. Open and save your first InDesign document. Then once you've finished, I'll see you in the next video.